welcome. Today we're going to go over how to knit this beautiful herringbone knitting stitch. If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. I'm Amanda and I've been knitting and crocheting for over 25 years. Our channel is about teaching beginners how to make beautiful creations. So if this sounds like you, smash that like button. We're going to be using our our six and a half millimeter knitting needles. Now we're using a little bit larger needle for our work because it is a really tight stitch and you're almost always knitting two together throughout the whole work, okay? So we want to make sure that we have a nice and loose fabric. So this is a six and a half millimeter uh, in the round needle. Our yarn as well is our the Craftsmart Value. It's in this beautiful sky color. Now, for this pattern, we're actually going to be following the stitch itself. We're not actually making the whole blanket, uh, but this is a uh, free pattern from Michaels. I will link it uh, in the description below if you guys wanna try it. For the whole blanket, it uses the Bernat blanket yarn. We're gonna actually make this, we're using a smaller swatch here, but this is intended to be a uh, infinite scarf. All right, so to get started with our first row of our herringbone stitch, uh, we're starting in the middle, but it's, it doesn't really matter. When we have cast on about 30 stitches here. If you want a little bit wider a scarf, if you're going to go ahead and make this one, it, you might want to actually go more like 40 stitches. So what we want to do is we want to have our yarn to the back. We are going to be knitting two together, So, but it's through the back loop only, okay? So normally if we were going to knit, we were going to knit two together like this. We want to knit through the back loop, so we're actually going this direction. So we're just gonna go straight through the back of the two stitches, yarn over, and bring our yarn back through. So now we have one stitch, uh, only loop off the first stitch from our left-hand needle, okay? So this is it there, and we have one on our, on our right-hand needle now. Okay, so we're gonna keep that not too tight. We want it to actually be fairly loose because we need to be able to insert into two stitches as we work back through, okay? So now we've inserted back into two stitches. We're gonna yarn over, come back through the front. Now we have a second stitch on our hook and we're gonna go ahead and again, only loop off the first stitch from our left-hand needle, okay? And that is the first initial row of our herringbone stitch. We're gonna continue working. Knit two together through the back loop only and only loop off the first stitch. Okay, and this is tight, so it is slow moving across each row, okay? So just keep that in mind as you work through the row, okay? And then when we get to the end of the row, we're gonna knit through the back loop only on our last stitch to finish off our, our row, okay? All right, so here we are at the end of the row. We've done our last knit two together through the back loop. Our, last, our second last stitch is now on our right hand needle and we're gonna go ahead and loop off our first stitch. Now we have one stitch left, which we're just gonna knit straight through the back loop, like so. And then that's gonna give us this nice edge. So now we're gonna turn our work around and work on our purl row, because this is a version of a stockinette stitch, okay? Uh, it is just a straight two row repeat, so it's very, very simple. Once you get the hang of how to do the knit two togethers, it is a great two row repeat, so it's nice and simple once you get the hang of the knit two togethers and the purl two togethers, because we're gonna do those now. We're gonna keep our yarn to the front and we're gonna go ahead and insert our needles into the first two stitches, purl as per normal, and then we're gonna go ahead and just loop off the first stitch, okay? So again, very simple, nice and easy, like the knit two together. This pattern looks like it would be really hard because it is, you know, that beautiful herringbone style, but it honestly is nice and easy. All right, so we knit two, or purl two together, loop off our first stitch there. All right, and now we continue working across our row in that knit two together fashion. Honestly, super, super easy, okay? So go ahead and give this one a try and show me your works on Instagram. If you guys make any of the stuff that we do on our videos, tag us on Instagram. I'll share it all to my stories and we will, you know, love on the things that you're making. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and continue our row. It's, we're gonna work back and forth like that, knit two together until the end of the row, and then, or through the back loop, of course, and then when we are purling, it's purl two together, normal purl two together, just looping off again our first loop. And then when we get to the end of the purl row, we're just gonna go ahead and purl the last stitch, okay? And then continue working back and forth. 
honestly this one's nice and easy so give it a go uh, give it a try and uh, if you like what we're doing uh, hit the like because we have lots more videos coming and we want to get our videos in the hands of of course as many people as possible so go ahead like share comment thanks so much for joining us and we will see you next time